Okay, what we've done today was Huey and I drove up on the old golf cart here up to the back of the field just to have a look at this. You know what they're doing? They're taking the orange grove out. Look at that. Apparently there's a a disease in it and they're taking the grove right out. I don't know if you can remember my videos from last year but this was all oranges and the machines are working over there taking this, it looks to be this half if you can see the trees that are still nice and square down there they've been they've been harvested and trimmed so they're being left I would imagine but there they go and they're burning and there's a cat away up there look at the look at that right in the middle of the fire loading another load of brush onto it so they're going to put peaches in here apparently so that'll get all tilled over probably and then peaches put in so there you go a part of the orange grove gone here's a Huey and I have moved up to a, a different position there's one of the machines there feeding all this uh, old orange trees he's feeding that into the fire up there and there's a guy away up there working on that fire feeding that so he's he appears to be quite busy quite impressive all, all these oranges are gone Ah, oh, you're going to be on Facebook. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Good job. <laughs> That's quite impressive, you know. Huh? This is quite impressive. Does it not hurt the hydraulics, the machines being so close to that heat? Don't bother. No, really? Nah. Nah, don't bother them at all. Yeah. It looks as though they're only taking this part, you're only taking this part out. Yeah. A guy in the park told me it was a, a disease or something in the oranges. Yeah. yeah. It's called greening. Greening, okay. That means they're not going nice and orange. <laughs> nah. Yeah. And so what are you going to do now? you going to plow it or? We, we, we're hard to just clear, but the, the owners of the property is going to come in and... Uh, it all up and plant hay on it. Oh, oh, a guy in the park told me they were going to try and do uh, peach trees. Nah, not that I know of. <laughs> That's what a guy in the park told yeah. me. Okay. That's I can... what they've been doing with the rest of them. Yeah. They're planting hay on them. Okay. Right, I, I, I can go back to Bill and go with some first hand information <laughs> from the boss of this project. But that is neat, that is quite impressive. Oh, oh, this guy's going to start, start another one over here. Yeah. He's going to try and get this one lit up here, Huey, by the looks of things. Yeah, we're going to try to get all this burn up through the road today. And then tomorrow we'll burn the other side of the road. Yeah, it travels. The road that runs right down the middle of the grove. Yeah, it so We're it, trying to get away from these trailers as fast as possible. <laughs> yeah. We've been putting this off till the last one. Yeah. We just finished up 300 acres further over. What, what kind of acreage are we talking here, do you think? 12.4. I was going to say 12.5, but I didn't like to, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we normally can burn a lot more like we just finished up 37, almost 38 acres. We did it in two days. Wow. But this is... We're trying to hold it because every time you turn around, the wind's going that way. Yeah, it, that way. yeah, yeah. 
I think that we were sitting over there today and I think there was only one day we, we could smell it. Yeah. Yeah. Normally I can see it but I can't smell anything. Well, that's good. You see how that just suddenly erupts there, though, eh? Wow. Yeah, we had a little bit of problem with it burning some right over the honor about two weeks ago and over a little ways over there and uh, an old folks home over here complained, got to shut down. Oh. And you're trying to protect stuff, you're trying to do the right thing, you know, and uh, uh that's a major battle in Florida. They've really as far as burning, they have tried to put a stop to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it looks as though it looks as though that the guy got that one sort of started there. Yep, I can. It's sort of going. Yep. Where y'all from? Sudbury. Sudbury, Ontario. Yeah. When will y'all go back? April. April. Third week. Third week in April, I'm going back. But Huey here's just down for a a, a two week holiday. He's back on Monday. We came down and watched the Daytona 500. Oh yeah. Alas, it was a washout. <laughs> rained out. Man. I've been there on the Fourth of Ju uh, the Fourth of July one. We we got rained out. <sighs> Actually, we we got to the room the next morning at five o'clock. They finally started it after midnight. Yeah. Yeah, we gave up. Came back home here. He watched it on TV. Watched it on TV, yeah. I've been through it two or three times and it's still better to watch it on TV to me. Yeah. Well, oh, you yeah. can actually see more on TV. Oh, yeah. But it, but it's the thought of being oh, there, the noise, the, the smell, people. the people, the environment, yeah. yeah. Last year we went to the truck race. The truck race is a lot of fun. Go to the truck race, it's a blast. Yeah. Nobody's there. Okay. <laughs> you can sit anywhere you want to, walk around, do everything you want to do. It's yeah. a blast. But. Okay. And it's just as exciting, but anyway, we went to truck race. You know they had that bad wreck okay. where the tire come off the car and went up through. The and stands. went up through the stands, yes. And they showed the fence with a camera. We were setting about seven seats up the day before. Holy <laughs> Christ! Scary. Yeah. So do you still think the heat is from the sun, Huey? No, I think there's some of the heat coming from that out there. It's radiating towards us, I think. But these guys are feeding that quite well. <laughs> it's quite a hot job. <laughs> I hope he's got AC in the cab. He does. <laughs> we had one loader's open cab though. Wow. That's well, not too bad. That guy up yonder is in the middle of it. Look at it. Look at him. Whoa. This one here is going to erupt any time now. It's it's going to erupt. Anyway, I think this will do my YouTube video. Thanks for talking. See you. See ya. Well, here we have the aftermath. Just over 12 acres of orange grove gone. And it still goes away over that hill quite a distance. So, there you go. That's how it looks after the guys are finished. Bit of smoke still coming out of that uh, pile of ash over there. And now you can see the trailer park. So that's it. Catch you all later. <laughs>